Welcome back to Real Estate Radio San Antonio with Carla and Stan. And we're here with Robert Tuan of SanAntonioHomeFinders.com. Robert, good afternoon. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Stan. Good. As we've uh, we just we've talked a lot about different things, and you're in our office, and we've we've been out to lunch several times and stuff. And and we lunch. Go, we've never lunch. been to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe dinner. It is what dinner. it is. Yeah, you're always <laughs> hustling me for something here. So, uh. but here's the best thing that that we talk about so often is people that do not even think that they would qualify for a home. And and we've gone back and forth, and that's why we're kind of doing the segment of the show on that is uh, I like what you call the uh, fear and procrastination of not purchasing a home and how people um, act or don't act on that situation there. Yeah. Um, you know, you'd be – fear is – you know, people are fearful of a lot of things. They've never done it before, so, you know, they think it's really a traumatic thing. And I'll make it fun, fast, fun, and easy. That's how I like to do it because I'm like a guide for – fishing or uh, go to the amusement park you know I'll, I'll give you all the highlights and how easy this can be done so if we can take the the fear and the procrastination out i bump into people from time to time who uh, uh start looking at homes and can i help you no we're just looking well something's changed in their life to get them at least motivated to get out there to look but they're fearful of talking and i always tell them look I'll help you. The fact of it is, I want you to learn everything you can. The worst thing in the world is to bump into me or call me and we not discuss everything. You go along your way and then I bump into you a second time and and they say, oh, if you'd have told me this the first time, I'd have done this or that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the first thing. And for first time home buyers, it's even worse because they, they, they have no experience at it. Anyways, go to SanAntonioHomeFinders.com and and fill out a form, and I'll be glad to get a hold of you to make this fast, fun, and easy. I, I like the way you say that, fast, fun, and easy. Yeah. You know, purchasing a home. Uh, as we talked about, so so often people, they think that their credit score is, is low, and, and it may be low, but it may not be high enough to get a, get a home. And like you said, you've talked to, to um, clients of yours that have gone online and filled out an application online and came back denied right off the bat. Right. And so they think, oh, I can't buy anything because I've been denied or whatever. Um, and, and let's talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, I, I have a couple of them right now. I usually get, oh, about three or four a week at least that I bump into or somebody recommends them to me. And they say, you know, we've had a problem and and – you know, I kind of give them a quiz. It's I, I quiz them pretty hard about things because I want to help them get a home. And I'm not a loan officer. Mm-hmm. I'm not an accountant. But if they, they answer this, I kind of have an idea what the next step is. And and I'll tell you up front, well, I, this is a tough case, but let's go to the expert, whether it's you or Carla. And, and at that point in time, I really feel you're one of the best mortgage companies not just in San Antonio, but within uh, probably, uh, let's just say the state of Texas. Thank you. But you, and you're so right on that because we get so often we get a, a client that will come in that's referred to by you. And they'll, and and so we'll sit down with them and talk to them. And, and maybe their credit score, they've got some, some things on, on their report. Right. And, you know, FICO is, it's, you know, it's a 23, 24 year old product. You know that, that those were the the way it was created. You know, back in the late nineties, and so it doesn't have a lot of the the more modern stuff. And there's things that that you get on your score that can be fixed or maybe okay, um, right? Through one and, of your- and that's what we have to look at with someone. They'll think, oh, I you know I had a medical collection and I and I had this problem two years ago, and oh, you know I'll never be able to buy a house. Well. You know, almost shame on you for taking that attitude is what I is what I think because so so many of these people you know we all really want to own a home right and so many people deserve to own a home but they've had some rough times in their life that a lot of that is by and we just need to sit down and and look at that that we do it a credit analysis on them financial analysis and 
can look at that and make steps. More often than not, they're actually able to purchase a home. They just didn't think they were. Absolutely. Now, you don't have to have a an 800 credit score to purchase a home. There's there's all the government programs out there. Things have come down. They understand what's going on in the credit market. The lenders, the federal government have There's all so, helped. So many circumstances. Um, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's under 600 now for, for a FICO score that you can purchase a home on still. With FHA, we did, we've done several here in the last couple months that were, and I hate to even say the score, but they're under 600. Why? And their their interest rate was, was 3.875. And I know that, you know, we're not supposed to talk about, you know, interest rates can change all the time. But that's just to show you that it's not that you're going to get – hammered with with interest rate that there's a lot of available programs out there that you can fit in and and purchase a home well you know i had one the other night i talked to and and i said with everything you've given me unless there's something you haven't told me but once you go to mortgage they'll they'll find out i mean there's no secret so and she goes well there was a bankruptcy eight years ago and i Mm -hmm. go well you know that might not be a problem because so many people – I've had one bankrupt – not me, but I had a client that had bankruptcy 35 years ago, and he goes, I don't think I can get a home. I go, well, let's take a further <laughs> look here. And yeah, you know, it's got true. him a home. Yeah. Um, I did have a tough one that you couldn't get financed, and I don't want to bring that up because there's our people mm-hmm. out there. He had an 800 credit score, and that's hard for you not to finance. Yes. He had a lot of money in the bank. He had a lot of equity in investment properties. But his problem, he went from a, a W-2 to a 1099. And there wasn't a mortgage company that could do that that I found. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I did have a bank that did them. There are some portfolio investors so, out there that will do that. Absolutely. So I wanted yeah. to bring that up. Yeah. I mean, because we're here talking to, I don't know, how many people are we talking to, Roland? Two right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people out there. And, yeah. you know, everybody has something a little different. But unless they call us, contact us, um, we'll never know what happens. If you just joined us, you're listening to Real Estate Radio San Antonio. And uh, that's realestateradiosa.com. Uh, be sure and go on there. If you have some questions, if you want some information, uh, just contact us. Hit that contact button, and we'll get with you. That's realestateradiosa.com. And we're here with Robert Tuan of SanAntonioHomeFinders.com. And, Robert, as we continue with, with that, you know, the credit, we, we talk about, um, you know. Well, you know, when we do this, uh, the, it, it's such a, a wide thing, and, and you just have to get involved call stan carlo or myself and we'll we'll get you involved and we'll give you all the directions to go everybody's a little different and um we just know the direction to go to i always say 99.9 percent of the time we can get you into a home you know i was uh, speaking in front of a a group of realtors here about oh three weeks ago and i was just talking about all the different programs and i mean total programs even things that we don't handle that are even out there and it was amazing how many of the realtors did not know that all of those programs exist and that the look on their face that, and the questions that came forth after that, that they were asking, how's that work? Or that really is there? And, and you can have that credit score. It doesn't you can surprise have that bankruptcy. me. And, I, and, if, and then, well, I guess what I want to make the point is, is if people are making their living on this and they don't know it all, how would you expect the, the standard public to know that? And so just get with us and, and we can advise you. Uh, give us a call. Um, give Robert a call. Any of us we, we tie in. We can we can find out exactly what you can afford, where you'll be. Um, well, you know, that's at least that, give you good, true advice. That's, that's what, what I, I try to educate people with. I'm just not a realtor. I have mm-hmm. a a whole system of uh, mortgage and title companies to make this a smooth, easy process. And a lot of realtors, I know they they work hard at what they do. And they show property, but there's more to it than just showing property. Mm-hmm. It's it's guiding you to the right properties and having mortgage companies that will get you the right mortgage, and and that's so imperative. Um, there's been a couple of clients I've picked up that they've been with uh, other realtors, and but they had no mortgage companies. Mm-hmm. They're they're kind of like a fish flopping out of water. So um, I have a good friend that everybody knows out there he's uh i've known him for years we've done business he's got a great slogan but Uh i like to get the job done let's just put it that way yeah well 
I mean, we've had, I think, when someone is, is pre-qualified, pre-approved, um, that's when they come to us. We, we look at all the documentation, their banks, and we can give them a pre-approval letter. That's very important in this market today because the homes, the good homes, are turning so fast. And we had a, a realtor call us just um, the other day that was on the listing side and she has she was looking at the offers on the home and so she wanted to call us and and interview us a little bit since we were the ones that were doing the loan and the pre-approval and she had that pre-approval letter where she didn't have them from the other offers right and she just wanted to check with us now are these people good i said absolutely you know i mean we can't divulge any information but that that's a true pre-qualifying is really important from a quality company and and you're a quality uh, yeah. finance company. And so she was doing a little bit of her due diligence on that, too. So having that, that pre-approval letter, uh, not just a pre-qual letter. There's a difference between a pre-qual letter and a pre-approval letter. Yes. We can explain that to you. But you, you want a pre-approval letter. You want it from a reputable company. The realtors know um, who's reputable out there. And uh, they, that means a lot to them to have that proper does. piece of mean, paper. It could hand. mean the difference of getting the house or not yes. getting the house. Because when you've got multiple offers on that house, they're not only looking just at the price, but they're looking at who's make for sure going to. For a real deal. It's going to close. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. That's so important. So, mm-hmm. Well, Robert, uh, we've run out of time this afternoon Again? on this show. Yeah. Man. And so we're going to um, cut it off here. We just want to thank everybody for joining us. You've been listening to Real Estate Radio San Antonio. And if you have any questions or you have anything, subjects that you'd like to hear on the radio, please uh, go to realestateradiosa.com. Hit that little uh, contact button on there. Uh, We'll pick it up. We'll answer those questions and we'll bring them on the show. And thank you very much. Thank you. 